Let's see. Why did our meet tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Boy. Okay, flying off the shelves, we have to collect five books. Right. Revenia. I'm going to have to use Ak Got it. Only four more to go. Might I suggest the ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section, and Cressida Bloom seems to think that the library is her own personal arena and wish to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. This must be Cressida's diary. Oh boy. I'd want this back too if I were her. Today was a good day, that is, until Garrett splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. I had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that he wasn't Professor. If he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Our brought Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now. Although, I still prefer meat pie. Did I grab it? Nope. What the heck this happened? I'm not convinced there's an achievement for doing these. Some gloves. So there's either a hidden room here or there's another door leading from the outside.
This game has a hard time with stairs. The library? Yes, it is. So we got two statues with the center painting. Go look for that. Oh, I think it's right there. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Lumos. The old librarian, one of the first librarians of Hogwarts, is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of silencing charm at the slightest, the slightest sneeze. Oh, that would be so amazing. Very awful. Lumos. I start reading these. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think I am reading them. I think you get the same thing. Okay, this seems to be a welcome to Hogsmeade. Okay, that's the next thing. So this person is about to get blocked. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Rebellion. What's up there? Is that Cressida up there? Did I pass her the first time? Oh, she's outside. Okay. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Yeah. We could be a little sneaky and ask for a reward. 
Oh, we're gonna be good. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong, perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. <laughs> Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Yeah, something new, but I'm not sure what. Maybe it's a wand. A wand handle. We don't have our wand yet, so. All right, let's go do this one last mission. One thing I've learned about the mirrors is that whatever they reveal is usually really close. The three sisters bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It is rumored that one can hear them ring in the glen, way across the highlands, when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Hello, looking for me? <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go to Hogsmeade. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsmeade. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, Where's I had planned to extend an invitation Rebellion. to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. 
I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to Lewis. look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Can we pick them? What's this over here? Lumos. We have some moonstone. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. Ooh. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. <laughs> I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, exactly. there's Hogsmeade over the crest, past that ruin. I saw something shimmering over here. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I have. I will say. While I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Leaping Toadstone Cat. <laughs> cool. Hmm, maybe we do a Leviosa? Leviosa! Something over here that's lighting up, but I don't know what. Lumos. Back for that. Revelio.
how are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is better here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. What was the Ministry thinking, putting Black in charge of a bunch of children? He hates children. Revelia. Just to get away from Professor Black and his iron fist. Professor Black is definitely suspicious. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, <laughs> sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Oh, oh. Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. <laughs> I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. Revelia. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Lumos.
Ravenia. My first employment was in Hunchies. Stop that. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. All right, we are going to call it here. We're going to continue our journey in Hogsmeade for the next video.